Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing a small little cruising video and also going to be showing you how to operate a log and some of the other little different windlasses that I have. So we've moored, been moored at this place for quite a while. It's called Middle Witch. Um, it's actually kind of a good spot because there's a few shops that way uh, and everything. Um, so we've been able to stock up on dog food and normal food and everything and we're going to be going through a double lock today which is exciting so while we were here we um, went to a church which was really nice and when we when we got cruise thing through cruise through towns and cities and everything we try and search up to see if there's a nice church we can go to um, so we went to that which was really nice we also had to take Peaky to the vets um, because um, he spilled some hot coffee on himself um, and he got a bit of a burn so we'd take him to the um, to vets just to get a plastic cone wrapped on him and like put on him uh, I'll insert a picture of it I call him cone boy now because he is um, uh, um, so this place is actually really nice we're probably gonna come back here in, in a few weeks uh, because we need to because we are going to go down the middle witch branch on the structure union um, but we're just gonna be going in that direction for the moment um, but let's go! lock now it's kind of um terrifying because we haven't been in a double lock since back on the Kent and Avon Canal or the Thames I think yeah the Thames the Thames and Kent and Avon Canal we haven't been in a lock like this in so long they've all been single um so it's kind of a bit nerve-wracking but that's fine um so here are my collection of wind so here are my collection of windlasses um obviously i have to have a collection of windlasses because why wouldn't i um every 12 year old needs that uh so i'll quickly go through them so the first one here is a normal windlass it is a shorter handle and it has a spinny handle which i like to call them which isn't just pure like metal just like that it has like it spins with it so your hands don't get blistered too much um then we have this one this one is called a ratchet windlass it's um it has one normal uh hole like this one um and it has a ratchet hole where it turns around um and it's a bit easier to do the paddles it's like a ratch um a ratchet is that is that what those things are called um and then we have uh, another ratchet when last but this one has a spinny handle um i use this one a lot more often because this one does hurt my hand a little hands a little bit more um when people say that the um, longer wind lasses are better they sometimes aren't because um if a lock thing if uh like if for example there um if a lock if that paddle is a little lower then it won't work because you can't go all the way around so these um the shorter ones like these are actually sometimes a bit better i don't have a really short ratchet one last i have a bit of a longer one um but i'm gonna do this double lock but let's get through this double lock One gate.
So I would just like to say a big thank you to my new Patreon, John Eldard. I would like to say a big thank you for him to donating to my Patreon. It means the world to me and I'm really glad you are enjoying my videos. So we've just been through the lock um, and I actually just want to say a big thank you to Alida for sending me these shoes. Um, you've probably seen it in quite a bit in the vlog today um, and I want to say a big thank you for them to sending them. Um, they're actually really good, they're super comfortable, they're really lightweight and they, are, they dry really quickly. So if you walk through puddles or grass or anything like that, um, they will dry the next day. Um, I, I absolutely love these shoes. I have really bad sensory issues with my feet. So shoes I can be really picky with. Um, but these shoes are actually really comfortable and I really like them. Um, they are very thin and small so you can just chuck them in your backpack if you want to go cycling or walking or running or anything like that. I definitely recommend them. They're really actually good and grippy as well. Um, I use them a lot, that's why they're a little um, dirty, um, but I actually really like these shoes. If you do want to buy these uh, shoes, there is a discount code in the description box. I won't, I, I won't be getting anything from it, um, uh, but it's just so you save a little bit of money and get awesome shoes at the same time. Hey, so we have moored up and we've actually moored up in this really nice spot. Um, it's a little overhanging like trees, but it's not stopping the solos or anything. Um, and we're kind of next to this sort of pond pond place um, but I actually really like this mooring and I think it's actually really pretty we went through the double lock and um, it wasn't crazy hard I forgot I forgot that um, you have to open you have to open two paddles and you can't just do a one paddle because um, it's just such a big lock and I'm used to singles that take like no water at all um, so that was a little bit different and actually right now the water is so high like there's the water and then there's like the thing it's like crazy high right now since it rained so much um which is a little scary because if this went too high then we could end up on the path and then the floor went down we could end up on the path and tip over into the canal that's not very good um but yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe comment on my social medias my patreon and my gmail the at gmail.com if you have any suggestions for me and i also do have a canal post address if you'd like sending me letters um but yeah see you later bye